Imperial Agents, Mad Cousin Flagrant. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. Uh, no cats today, unfortunately. I'm sure we'll hear them at some point. <laughs> uh, we have a special treat for you today. RTLW sent us over a big uh, care package a while back, and we're just getting to the last of the miniatures to kind of show you all. Now, they're not exactly the most newest releases, but there are still some pretty cool sculpts that I think was definitely worth sharing with you all. This is kind of the uh, the Imperial Agents. You can use them uh, in the kind of fantasy type games or of course uh, imperialistic um, characters in Warhammer 40K. Now they have a whole section over on their site for these guys for 28 millimeter figures. And I'm sure by the time you see this, they're gonna have already had come out with more things because that's what they do. <laughs> they come out with all sorts of great stuff all the time. Um, and I, I, it's definitely worth showcasing to y'all just so you can see the options that are over there and everything kind of comes with a bunch of different um, weapon options as well. Sometimes head swaps, sometimes uh, actual weapon slots, uh, swaps, but uh, either way, there's a lot of different uses for these things. And I think you'll find with single figures, the price is definitely right when it comes to RTLW. So to check it out for yourself, it's just RTLW.com where you can type in RTL uh, w miniatures or RTL miniatures into your browser. Now they did have some offerings of uh, free 3D printed miniatures that you can get as a download and print out at your home printers if you want. That may also come up when you do a Google search, but either way, uh, lots and lots of possibilities here. So once you get to the site, you can kind of scroll down and check out the different categories. We've showed you some of this stuff in the past. There are 32 millimeter scale stuff. It's kind of picking up steam. That's the primary C size. Um, so you'll see a lot more in there as uh, the days and weeks and years kind of progress, but 28 millimeter scale is probably what we'll show you the most of here on this channel. We showed you some of the 54 millimeter stuff in the past. We showed you some upgrade bits in the past. I haven't done anything much with the paints and things, but, um, and then they have the, their features down here, which is kind of in a lot of cases, their most recent stuff. Um, but you can definitely get to it all from clicking at 28 millimeter scale miniatures or just clicking this right here. And once you do that, it'll get you to page one, but I've already scrolled over to page two to kind of show you some of the stuff that we're gonna take a look at today. So here you can see some of the individual miniatures and you can click on it to kind of see some of the options. Sometimes they just showed you the exploded view of how to put it together. Sometimes they show you the options here where it, there's uh, di different heads. Um, this one has Ancient Blank has different heads. We're gonna show that to you today. The Knight Errant has different weapons, which you can't see because of my stupid face right here, which would be great for uh, things out there like you know uh, D and D or role playing games, or maybe you just want them as a character in Sigmar or you know uh, one of the fantasy square based games that are still around. And then scrolling down to right here, we've got some other stuff we're gonna show you. So we've got Hansel and uh, Gretchen as well as uh, the Spider Morph a Brute, which is kind of just a funsy uh, type uh, model out there, a little sci-fi kind of flair that might just be fun that just kind of pick up and, uh, and paint just for the heck of it. So once you scroll over this, like this is the exploded view, but then if we actually go into it, you can see where there is uh, weapon options, head options, and all sorts of different things. So you can use her in you know a fantasy type game, RPG setting, or 40k as like an inquisitor or something like that which makes it pretty neat and obviously i feel like i don't really have to get into the pricing at all while the pricing itself uh for the squads you know 49.99 59.99 is on par with gw plastics but not necessarily forge world which kind of to compare apples to apples you're looking at boutique um resin miniatures you should compare them to forge world i feel like but once you compare stuff like this to games workshop prices uh if that's your thing then yeah, it's a lot cheaper because GW minis are going for anywhere from 25 to 40 bucks these days. But if you compare it to things like, you know, WizKids deep cuts, which aren't gonna be as detailed, definitely not the posability and the options, well, they're gonna be a little bit more by like 10 bucks. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, and then of course you always gotta pay shipping kind of no matter where you go, but just keep in mind that this stuff's gonna ship out of Europe. 
Now, if you're buying single characters from RTLW, chances are they're going to come in a package about this size, which is, this is, if you haven't seen this yet, this is a pretty neat out of box experience, a little ubi for you, if you will. This is kind of cool, you know, they've, they've got a little wax stamp that they literally use the wax and a little, a little stamper, just like the olden days, and some twine and some uh, packing paper right here, which is really, really fun. And once you kind of pull it uh, all off, it gives you a nice, uh, nice, fun little thing to do and you get into here. Now, this is a squad. Um, but everything's pretty well sealed up with bubble bubbles and then each uh, miniature is usually in its own individual baggie and for like characters and stuff and I messed this one up already so it's not a good comparison but for characters this is that fire drake um, squad leader usually they come uh, the model itself comes in a separate baggie and then the options come inside um, this as well but like in a separate kind of baggie so unfortunately uh, I might have missed this one up but everything is usually padded pretty well and separated so that uh, you can uh, get them together very easily so just to run through these real quick this was the funsy one that uh, that you know it's it's probably not for everybody but I could see where you could convert it and make it into something for Warhammer 40k but it's more you know, like you know something you would see in Marvel or maybe just some sort of generic sci-fi thing like uh, Infinity or something like that. But it's funsy and we, lo we love funsies and that's kind of what it's all about right there. You can make a little diorama or, or something down in here if you really felt like it and wanted to do something fun or maybe switch out the heads. But overall, I think it's a very well done, you know, the posing of the hands uh, in relation to uh, the tentacles, the Doc Ock tentacles right there. And then the action of uh, crushing down the little, uh, what is that, sluice pipes or... Uh, rain pipes right there and you know all the details really well done they segmented the uh the tentacles right here and then did some um little ribbing up on that and then they got these little lasers or something i don't know what i don't know what those things are but the, you know like i said it all flows together very well and of course it's kind of like a spider so it's got or maybe an arachnid of some sort so some extra eyes right there would definitely do it justice and pew pew lasers on the snip snips as well i, I kind of dig it like there's something about it i def I definitely dig it and then you know we showed you this one earlier right there and you can definitely see it's very nice crisp detail on all the uh, pur purits and flames and then instead of just phoning in the cape they did a nice little kind of uh, I don't know the, what this is but I imagine there's some sort of ribbing in there and a little um, what are those skulls wow those are skulls you can barely see them but there are definitely skulls on the on the very end uh, right there and then there's like a Warhammer type deal um, some brace of pistols on the back and then this is the actual head, not the uh, steampunk head. I personally don't like this little frilly thing up here. It kind of reminds me more of like a, a vampire courtier or something like that. But eh, you know, whatever. It's my my uh, my taste isn't the same as everybody else's, and I didn't produce a miniature, so nor have I ever. <laughs> so I mean, my opinion might not super matter in regards to style. It's just all about detail and value at this point. I feel like, and um, I'm definitely digging it. And then here is. Uh, let's see, Hansel, <laughs> so hot right now. <laughs> and speaking of hot, yeah, he definitely has some sort of a flamethrower type eagle weapon right there with the uh, little more cyberpunk slash grimdark kind of look and feel underneath the hat right there. And got the, got the little uh, raven, I think that thing is. Yeah, we'll go with raven, final answer right there. So Captain Morgan pose on a pile of skulls that are obviously scorched in the heretical. Yep, I just made up a word. And I don't know who this guy is, but they sent it to us and I didn't forgot to look him up. So he looks dope. Very grim, dark, very uh, bland jitsu -y. And uh, I don't know much else about him, but here he is. Like I said, I think we showed this one to you before. Um, and still on the fantasy side, here's that Knight Templar kind of guy where you could use him as a paladin or some sort of, I don't know, monk or... Who knows what you could do with this guy, but uh, but he, he looks pretty fresh, and you know that's a thirty. Well, yeah, that's a thirty-two millimeter base. Like here's uh, a guardsman, just to kind of give you an idea of exactly how big he is right there. So definitely a little bit bigger, more heroic scale, but very very dope indeed. And then here's uh, the blank. Now the blank is kind of kind of interesting character. It's got two different heads, one with the scar. We put this one on there. Now I'm not sure if this is supposed to be Security Chief Odo or maybe Rucker Howard's. Uh, um, character from Blade Runner. I'm not really sure, but either way, I like it. I think it's very cool. You could use it as an Inquisitor or some sort of, um, you know, character, Imperial character, or definitely something in the cyberpunk realm, RPGs and things. And then uh, Agent of Virtue right here with a uh, crazy trench coat, some throwing knives perhaps, or something like that, hair up 
in uh, pulled up in the back so definitely looks more like black widow than anything but doesn't have the the kind of wrist gauntlets there nice crisp detail and i really like what's going on here with uh, all the flow and the kind of the posing you know um now it does come with that different head it kind of makes it look like a little like scarlet witch now maybe i'm off base here but that's just kind of what i'm seeing and what i'm getting those uh real world vibes from right there but either way I, I definitely dig it and i think you know for all of these i think the price is pretty much right on the single figures so that is all we have to show you today. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to head over to rtelw.com or you can just do a Google search for rtelw miniatures or rtel miniatures, whichever. It'll probably uh, bring up either <laughs> Spiky Bits or their their site there. Obviously, go to their site so and, uh, buy their stuff because it doesn't suck. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our future videos.